Hey guys, my name is Vampex and today I will bring you guys a deck profile of a budget deck list um, with virtual worlds. I think this is the best budget deck in my opinion. I mean, Dytron is pretty, yeah, pretty cheap too, but uh, this is, yeah, really, really budget. So uh, yeah, we go and I will explain why I chose uh, those ratios. Um, it is uh, to say that this build is for my locals because I know what is played on my locals. So I had to uh, yeah, put some different hand trap and stuff inside it to match my locals. But I will explain what I would do else if I go to a bigger tournament or something and I don't have just the money to buy an expensive deck. Uh, yeah, I think this deck list is pretty standard. But uh, yeah, first I would say that uh, I use a new uh, webcam to yeah to record my videos and uh, I first tried it with OBS so this is my streaming setup and I will try to do it with this because it's easier to handle uh, yeah tell me what I can do different but uh, then after all let's start with the deck profile this is a streaming setup <laughs> when I'm with my girlfriend so yeah this is why it's like this but first of all we'll start with the tree of of every virtual world card that it's in the game right now. I will start with the monsters. Um, it's three of, of everyone because you just want the consistency and you need to draw at least two virtual world cards except the trap um, to play. So yeah, this is how I would do it um, because this is a good ratio. Uh, you can't play with just the spell and um, this one with, with the Queen Long and so any of those except, the, uh, except this one. So yeah, you, you need to at least draw two cards to play. Um, this is why I chose uh, everything. And uh, some of you guys play only two of this. I think this is a good side out card. For example, yeah, if, if you go second and you need more traps or hand traps to play against certain decks like Dytron, um, yeah, you just side out this and um, yeah, you just want to stop them. But uh, yeah, if you go first, you need all those. Uh, I think this is pretty self-explaining. Um, then for my hand traps, I play still three Nibiru. Um, this is a hand trap I only play for my locals because there are a lot of prank kits and virtual worlds right now. I mean, the meta is also virtual worlds because this is a pretty good hand trap against them. If they have the perfect hand, like there are two hands when they can play through Nibiru, but otherwise they can't. So um, yeah, this is why I play this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't play this on a bigger tournament. I would suggest some uh, something that uh, yeah changed the graveyard. For example, like DD Crow, uh, Skullmeister, or Ghost Bell. I think Skullmeister is the best one of out of those three because you want to stop the grave effect itself. Um, against Dytron, you also could play the Ghost Bell because this does pretty much the same thing. But uh, yeah, I think Skullmeister is pretty good. The good thing about Ghost Bell is it's level 3, so you can normal summon it and special summon it and go in the rank 3 and uh, make Zeus after it. I will tell you how to do it. Um, but otherwise, it's like, yeah, only a tuner level 3, so this is the only good thing for this deck, so you can, yeah, like, think about it. What would do, what would be best for your locals, for example. Ash, um, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's oh, self-explaining. It's most versatile, so um, yeah, it, it literally can go against every deck. Every deck needs to search something or special something from the deck, um, so it's very good against those. Uh, yeah, so this is the best hand trap right now because it's most versatile. Um, you also can watch MST.TV's video about the hand traps, which, is good, which are good uh, for the lineup of meta right now, and this is the only one that goes against everything. And then Gamma. Um, this is I think the second best hand trap right now because it stops like effects in the grave because they're mostly monsters. It stops effect in the hand, it stops effect on the field. So, um, and if you play this card, it's like, yeah, if you if you make, for example, activate the, uh, the spell and then make this first, um, after they saw this card, they want Ash or anything uh, this and this often lets you play because they don't know if this is your only line of play and they wait with the hand traps because they're afraid of Gamma because if you have Gamma and this, you you win instantly because you can make Omega 
and do your normal combo and they can't play through it so uh, yeah only playing this card makes the stakes so much better even if you don't draw it um yep so ah yeah this are and then we come to the spells um like i said we play three of every virtual world card um this is like the best spell of or end trap of the whole deck because uh, i one time resolved the last effect for four and um, this is why i play all of them Or well, this is one reason why i play all of them um yeah so this is like insane this the atk push uh one time got me a game because i had to push um something to go over uh, i don't know what it was exactly i think it was yeah, yeah i had to uh i had this the lily uh i had this one and had to push it for 2k to get over um uh, how's it called um not winda I, I i'm i'm not remembering exactly i think it was to to crush into the inspector water but i'm not not sure anymore uh yeah so the atk push comes up and this is like a searcher card so um yeah this is very good um i play a little bit different but i play three desires um i think this one is uh, one card the most of us play because you you often need like to draw two to um get the consistency up and you can draw into hand traps so um yeah this is very good it's also coming through often because they are afraid of gamma then I play the one upstart, even though I play 42 cards, which is like pretty much or really much for this deck. Um, I only play this because of a sideout card and you then play just 41. Uh, but this is often just like a sideout card. Um, then Itali, it's like a fake starter. You can just make Nyan Nyan or uh, Lulu and then yeah, you, you go from there. Um, this way I play it. Caught by the Grave, I didn't want to miss this card, even though I play then more than 40. Um, it's a very good card going first and second because you often stops like they often make a board or establish a board. You kind of break it and then they are dependent on one specific card in the grave to get the combo going. So for example, Cyber Dragons or um, maybe something like uh, the Ditron cards or you just want to negate an effect like Ovi Raptor from the grave to then if they want to normal some of you and depend on that that you can negate the effect and then um with this why i play like 42 cards it's the hobby's feather duster because i'm like afraid of mine decks and i want to play something i know i have chuche um but the thing with chuche is like that you have to banish cards for it and um they often have something to to stop it and uh, yeah, this is why I play that just Harvey's Feather Luster. I know they have Judgment, but um, yeah, Chuche and this should be enough. I also play this against Eldritch, for example, because I just make this and then they have to activate everything. They have like no disruption anymore for my board. And this is often enough to just play through it and OTK from there. If I draw it, it's like, if not, then it's just normal virtual world cards. And if I don't draw, draw this, I will draw like something like Lulu and then it's the same. So yeah then uh three chuche this is amazing this card you have to play three of it because oftentimes you banish like two with desires and you have to wait for an Nyan to banish to get one back and then uh yeah you have to play three just to get one on the field and then I play skill drain um i wouldn't play this in uh the yeah when i go to tournaments because there is like such or there is a lot of virtual worlds right now and this card isn't isn't good i mean you can just um, ditch it for something like Chuche uh, if you know you play against virtual worlds so uh, it doesn't really matter um, but against everything else it's just broken against Jitron and uh, yeah you, you they can't they can't block you out of the special summoning etc so uh, yeah this is why I play 42 cards it works really fine I mean I got first so <laughs> it has to uh, yeah next I will go with the extra decks I play um, this guy um, it's really good because um yeah this one needs the same type and the same attribute um but different names and then i can just target a card and like lay it on the grave not destroy it or anything and if this card gets destroyed i think um 
Uh, yeah, it can't get uh, destroyed by card effects. I have two of the same. So yeah, this is like really good if you play against destruction, but I often only play it for the removal. Uh, yeah. Then I play the Star Wars Judge, Charge Warrior and the uh, Coral Dragon. This is pretty self-explanatory. You need one uh, tuner, one non-tuner to go sometimes in your combos. And the effect for destroying one sometimes comes up. But uh, yeah, it's like I used this once and this like thrice or more. <laughs> so yeah. Then the Omega for the uh, Gamma package. Uh, because if you have Gamma first turn and you resolve it, you win. Like, otherwise you can't really use Gamma except the driver for the level 6. Then the Shenzhen, the most powerful virtual world card in this uh, instance. Um, often people underestimate this card um, if they want to tr uh, try to stop VFD and I just make this and Chuche. It often is enough because the decks are so graveyard reliant and except Dytron they can discard it from the hand but otherwise they like need to get it in the field. Um, yeah, this is just for the combo. You need to play it. It's free uh, draw. This one, it's like it's a very good card, and, be and um, the effect for get back the tuner is also really nice. But I didn't summon it that much. But it's it's really good. I mean, I would not cut it. Um, the cloud castle. This sometimes I wish I played two, but often enough, it, one is enough because uh, yeah, you, you just make it uh, for the VFD combo if you get new B road, or you just make it afterwards to OTK. And then uh, yeah, I play those two also. Uh, the first reason is like I told you to resolve the spell effect, but this is not the main reason why I play it. Um, I play it with Zeus um, because often people go like this make Gaia and then make Zeus and um, this is a route I really 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 I, I, I didn't go that round um, like often enough to really think this is a good route because they often can stop this just they stop this and you can't do anything about it um, this is why I never resolved this one really um, and the one time I did there was only one time in like three or four locals um, I just could got like win with the system Chromonsus, so it's not really important but uh, they often underestimate like when you make this card they don't see the play that you can just make this make this undestroyable by uh, by battling and they think that you want to banish one specific monster they just let you uh, finish the monster and then they're like okay main phase two and you just summon this over it and if they have like no special negation that you just detach it they often destroy this one then you combo off into vfd or something else it's like this is the re reason the real reason i play it and it's like um budget but if you can't afford zeus um this is like the most expensive card of the deck i think <laughs> then uh, just don't play those two and um, put something else like another uh, cloud castle and the um, uh, golem i don't know how it's called the uh, uh, the XX Saber Golem in it or something because this is also a really good card uh, otherwise you can just play like Zen mains um, or stuff uh, yeah then like I, like I uh, showed you the combo just just for Zeus or if you want to do piercing damage and this is just a good card be yeah because you get your monsters back if they destroy it um, yeah this is for early case and to get over Dragoon this is like my only card except the Jaja uh, how to get over Dragoon and um, yeah they often expect this and want to destroy it um, I mean then yeah it's like they are they, it is already at zero uh, attack so yeah but if they can negate it I often made Jaja and ran over the uh, Dragoon and then the two, two calamities you have to play two it's um, the first you make for your first turn and if you want to play around Nibiru you make the first call light and then uh, make the second one um, yeah it's just to play through Nibiru and sometimes it comes up in the mirror match that one makes the VFD then you make your VFD and you have to stall out and if you make the second VFD and they don't have one you just win directly but um, often if they make VFD and you can play through it to make your own VFD but they have their VFD on the field um, you often win because you have like one more detachable card and yeah but they have to call wrong in the first turn so they yeah they can't call wind or earth so it's like a 50 50 chance then for the side deck um three lancea um yeah you also could play droll i play lancea because of my locals um 
I would maybe cut something else for Lancia and uh, for for Droll in the side deck because I think this is a really broken card against Virtual Worlds. Against it's, it stops so many cards. Uh, Pankratops because it's free special summoning, for example, against Winder or something. It's like pretty good. Um, I play this card again against Dytron because they um, nowadays they just make like if you hand trap them they make the uh, the card that say you can uh, you cannot special summon. And uh, yeah, this is just for the card um, and sometimes for combo decks, but most of all it's for this. Then um, I play back row removal, two cosmics, one twin, one red reboot and one evenly. Uh, I only play the evenly because like <laughs> of my locals, but I wouldn't play evenly right now. I would play one more twin twister um, because it's like the way these cards should function is that you blow up their back row they don't have the back row anymore even like eldritch can recycle it but uh, then you just have to otk them if you don't you lose but uh, with this you lose your battle phase and it's like they can't recover so fast from it and you have your vfd but otherwise it's like it's it's only 50 50 and if you can destroy the background then otk him, you win so yeah then i play imperial order this card is no one expects this really um they think yeah you have your spells and so you need it but you really need your spell just to search and um yeah i just cut this and some spells uh, uh, or i just put this in for some and cut some spells and this is like if if you have it it's like broken i mean, I mean against Zytron, it's like auto win because they can't use ritual cards against um something like prank it's, you just make this they can't fusion it's like they they're stunned i won with this card against cyber dragons because they play so many spells it's um, yeah and then i play two impermanence um like i said only for my locals um this is like a very versatile card and i had those i had I have a third one but i yeah just didn't want to play more i would cut those for drill maybe and uh, maybe you can also cut the um the evenly for for third role because the two most re represented decks are um are the virtual world deck and the Dytron deck so yeah you can go with this uh, and put rolls in it or um, you could also cut like one Lancea and those for three rolls this is also fine if you want to have the spell back uh, spell and trap removal for at least zoo but yeah this is uh, all in all you can just cut those for rolls um, so it's more budget you don't need to play the evenly the rest is pretty yeah, pretty cheap, I guess. In the extra deck, there's nothing cheap except uh, nothing expensive except Zeus, so this is pretty cheap too. And without Zeus and stuff, I think you will be under a hundred dollars. So uh, yeah, what do you think of this uh, of this deck? Try it out. Tell me uh, what do you think about it. I think it works fine for a budget list. Um, I, yeah, you don't really need triple tactic talent. It makes the deck a little bit more consistent, but then you can also play cards like if you want it more consistent, uh, you can just cut those cards, like cards like this, like this, and then put um, the uh, foolish burial for spells and traps uh, in it, so it gets more consistent. But the th thing is, I don't want to play the spell because oftentimes it's like win more card or if you really are reliant on the spell you um they often ash it so it's like yeah you you can't really do it then afterwards and uh, if you draw this except uh, instead of the spell and um you just like activate this it's often stopped the turn and they can't OTK you through this and then you just draw another card and then go off yeah it works for me at least um yeah tell me what you think about it and uh, yeah it's the 24th of december so uh i will go to my family right now and i hope you have a very nice christmas and uh yeah thank you for watching see you soon